Hey everybody, Cruzman here again from Cruzman's Garage. And you know, you may have already watched my first impression video of the new 2018 Goldwing and Goldwing Tour, but that was done a few days ago, right after the bike was released. Um, now we have some more information. I know a little more, a few things I forgot to talk about the other day I want to make sure to cover. So, got more coming up right now. Okay, well, like uh, just like the other day, you know, I've got some notes that I've made here, and I uh, just want to make sure I don't forget anything, because the other day I actually forgot to talk about a couple of things that were really important, and I also have some new information that I've just recently uh, become aware of that I want to make sure to cover, um, and we'll talk about it, and I appreciate all, all the comments. I know a lot of you subscribed to our channel as a result of this, and uh, I want to say I appreciate it, appreciate all the comments, and please keep your questions coming. And if you, um, anything we don't answer here, make sure to check out the glforum.com because we got a lot of information on the new 2018 Goldwing models on the glforum.com. So make sure you join the conversation over there. Okay, one of the major things I forgot to talk about the other day is the front suspension uh, of the Goldwing, which has been completely redesigned from the ground up. Now this is what Honda calls a double wishbone suspension system. And, um, you know, probably one of the weakest uh, features of the previous or the current, I should say the current version of the Goldwing, is the front suspension. It's just really inadequate for a bike this size. It just can't handle that much weight. So this new system uses what's called a dual wishbone. There's actually one shock absorber, uh, what they call a, uh, what do they call it, a front cushion. They call it a cushion. I call it a shock absorber. <clears throat> and you can see it's a very elaborate design, uh, the way this front fork system uh, has been developed. It's, it's a patented design. Um, everything I've seen online from people who have test ridden the bike say the bike feels very planted. Of course, until I actually get a chance to do a ride, I won't be able to say for sure, but uh, it's got to be an improvement over what we had before. So that's very exciting. And it also allows for electronic adjustment of preload and dampening. So that's uh, another really cool feature. Um, another thing that I have become aware of uh, just in the last day or two is from what everybody says that the paint quality has been improved. There's an extra layer of clear coat on the paint and that Honda has added some pigment to the paint to give it more depth. And this is another area of the Goldwing that was really uh, not up to standard quality for a bike that in that price range. So hopefully we will see a, an improvement in the paint, the fit, and the finish of the motorcycle. One piece of good news I just found out about, and actually we got this through the uh, some copies we acquired of the Honda owner's manual for the new Goldwing, is that the fuel requirement is 86 octane, so you can still uh, operate the motorcycle on regular fuel. I think that's very good news for most of us, uh, save you some money. And then another cool new feature is this hill start assist. It's basically uh, a system that allows the brake to engage uh, when you're on a hill or on a sloped surface and basically keep the motorcycle from rolling backward before you take off. And it is available on both the manual and the um, uh, DCT transmissions, which I was a little surprised to find out. Um, but basically what it does is it engages a brake and when you uh, basically release the brake lever, it keeps the brake engaged for up to three seconds until you have a chance to roll on the throttle. And once you roll on the throttle, it releases the brake and uh, that is a very, very nice convenience feature, especially on a heavy motorcycle and especially if you're pulling a trailer, something like that. Now, one thing I want to talk about is the storage, which um, we talked about, about a little bit in the last video. I have a little more information now. If you, if you see here, I'll show you a page out of the Honda owner's manual. They're showing a graphic where you can put two full-face helmets in this new trunk. Now, everything I've seen says the new trunk is 50 liters compared to the current trunk, which is 60 liters. I can barely get two full-face helmets in my current trunk, so I'm going to really, I want to see this to believe it type of thing. It's, I've got to see it before I believe it. I just can't imagine being able to fit two full-face helmets in this new smaller trunk. But hey, maybe it is. Maybe it will work. 
Another thing, on the new Goldwing, you're pretty much required to have Bluetooth communications, which means a Bluetooth headset mounted to the outside of the helmet on most helmets. That adds about an inch uh, on the side of the helmet, and maybe even a half inch, it raises it up from the bottom. So um, I don't know if Honda tried it with two full-face helmets that both have Bluetooth headsets installed, because that does add some space too. Also, you'll notice there's a fairing pocket on the right side fairing, which I was unaware of until just last night. And this basically is a little pocket that opens up. They don't really tell you what you can put in there, even though it says it can hold up to four pounds, so I guess there's a little bit of space in there. And this is where the uh, latch is for the fuel filler door. You, some of you have asked me, how do you put fuel in, because there's no key on the new fuel filler door. Well, th there is a uh, opener inside this fairing pocket and you open this and you have to have the smart key on you to be able to open this and then you press the button or do whatever's necessary to open the fuel filler door from there. So that answers that question. Now, we speculated on that little pop-up vent right next to the windshield, right behind the windshield. And, you know, I know Wing Stuff had speculated it could be a camera or it could be some sort of a, you know, lane assist, radar detector, something like that. Well, we know now it actually is, as Rocky originally said, it's a pop-up vent. So it's, a, it's in the owner's manual. They talk about it. They show a little picture of it. There's a little button you press, and when you press the button, it pops up this little air vent to direct air onto the rider, uh, from underneath the windshield. So we now know what that is. So that's pretty cool. As far as we can tell, uh, I have not been able to find any information regarding a weather band uh, on the audio system. So that's a feature we have in the current Goldwing that I don't think we're going to have in the new Goldwing. They probably figure you're going to rely on your cell phone or your Apple CarPlay for some sort of weather updates. So apparently there is no weather band, just simply AM, FM, and then XM series if you subscribe to that. Now, one thing that's interesting when it comes time to service the bike, and of course this is kind of the area I'll get into on my videos, but something I found interesting is there on the DCT model, there are three drain plugs, which I thought was kind of unique. So and you can see in the owner's manual, it shows the three different drain plugs, and the oil filter has been relocated. It appears to be sort of underneath uh, uh, facing a different direction than what it did in the old Goldwing model, which is probably a good thing because it looks to me like it, it may be less susceptible uh, to rocks or road debris uh, coming up from the roadway and hitting that oil filter and possibly breaking it off, which happened to me on one of my Goldwings. Also, one thing I as just looking at these drawings, and they're really nothing more than drawings uh, in the manual, it's hard to tell how we're going to be able to install a belly pan to protect the underside of the engine. It looks like the exhaust pipes are kind of right there, and I'm sure somebody will come up with a creative way to do it, but I'm hoping that we will have some sort of protection uh, either for the exhaust pipes and the underside of the engine or just for the underside of the engine because it's, you know, it's very uh, possible for road debris to come up and crack the casing of your engine. Um, as far as the audio system on the bike, well, that's always uh, something of great concern to people. Uh, apparently you can connect up to three Bluetooth devices simultaneously to the Goldwing. Now, they're assuming you're going to have a phone connected through Bluetooth, either through Apple CarPlay or just through, you know, the Bluetooth connection. And then two... Um, headsets. So you have a rider Bluetooth headset and a passenger Bluetooth headset. And from what I can tell, Apple, I'm sorry, um, Honda is completely relying on you having Bluetooth to be able to have intercom capabilities. There does not appear to be any intercom built into the audio system. So you'll have to rely on those headsets communicating with each other uh, to, have a head, to have an intercom system. And I've never used that before, but I understand it's a very good system. Another thing I failed to mention the other day, and I think it's really important, is as we've talked about, every Goldwing model and Goldwing Tour model has navigation built in. 
But what Honda's doing now is they're giving you 10 years of free map updates through Garmin. Now that's something they didn't do before and you used to have to pay $100 just to get a map update. Now, I have not been able to find it in the owner's manual yet because there is a separate manual for the navigation system. I want to see how you update those maps, if it's done through an SD card like we currently do, and hopefully uh, the navigation system will have the facility to uh, upload routes like we do from Basecamp from Garmin. Um, I can't verify that yet. I'm, sh I'm hoping upon hope that that's available because I use that all the time when I'm going on a long distance tour. I lay out my route in Basecamp and then I upload the map to my uh, Garmin system on the motorcycle. But anyway, the 10 years of free map updates is a big plus. It's, it's a big savings. And another new feature that Honda has, not only do you get the three-year unlimited warranty, you can now extend that warranty up to a full eight years, which used to be just you could go to seven years. Well, now they're going to offer a five-year extended warranty. So those are just a few things that... Um, I found recently that I wanted to make sure to mention things I either left out of the first video or things I just learned about. And as I learn more and get more information, I'll make sure to update you. Thanks again for uh, checking us out on YouTube. Don't forget, if you're interested, if you have a Goldwing right now and you need uh, maintenance videos, uh, we have those online or through DVD. Check out cruisemansgarage.com and please join us on the glforum.com. It's a great discussion group, all kinds of activity going on over there right now. So we'll bring you more information as it becomes available.